So today I think was a very special day for the WAPO community, the indigenous community of Pepperwood. And in fact, I think it was a really special day for all of the community, that is Pepperwood, Sonoma County. I think this was a perfect example of returning cultural fire to this land and cultural fire in a way that encompassed prescribed fire as well. So I think we reduced some fire fuels. We discouraged some of the plant communities that we're uh, not in favor of here. And we've also set the stage to encourage some of our preferred plant communities here that feed and provide sustenance not only to us as humans, but to all the animals and everything within our natural world. And I know it was very special to me, my family and my people to see the support of the entire community, several different fire districts coming together, volunteers coming together, and all realizing that we are all connected. And so I think this is a very special first step and hopefully the first step of many yet to come where we can introduce and continue to increase cultural burning, not only here at Pepperwood, but throughout our entire area. And my heart is full with appreciation for everybody that showed up and helped make this day a possibility. Today was about getting prescribed fire back on the ground and uh, working with our community to be able to do that. And with our staff, it was a great opportunity to uh, train our staff in doing prescribed fire at the same time. And uh, an overarching goal is just improving the grasslands. Fire is really a disturbance regime that's really helpful to restore the health of grasslands. And particularly today, we were striving to reduce the occurrence of a plant called Medusa head. These fires are really effective at killing the seeds of that plant so that we can help make our grasslands more resilient and more adaptable to for wildlife as well. We haven't had fire on the ground for the last few years because of the wildfires that we had and the rebuild effort. So we're just getting back into it again. And I just have nothing but appreciation for all the people that were involved, particularly our Native American Advisory Council that helped us all the way through this. To have this burn accomplished and behind us, um, it is a, it's an amazing relief. This was my first burn where I was acting as a burn boss trainee to accomplish my California burn boss certificate. And so this was the first uh, Good Fire Alliance led burn. So we really asked community members to come together. Uh, everyone from a number of different agencies or people here from Sonoma Land Trust, Sonoma County Regional Parks, Laguna Foundation. And then we had fire agencies from Sonoma Valley Fire, Sonoma County Fire, Northern Sonoma County Fire, the, the Fire 4 team, Audubon Canyon Ranch, and a private fire engine from Avalon Fire. And for me, this burn was about community building. I know we met our ecological goals. We met fuel reduction goals. The working with Clint McKay and the Native Advisory Council was, uh, was really exciting. And prescribed fire is a piece of this landscape and our advisory council has made that clear and how they've been burning since time in memorial and especially the, the Wapo people on this land. And so, to have them involved in this, along with these other agencies, was, was really powerful and encouraging to uh, bring all these groups together and everyone's on the same page and we're all working towards these common goals for the good of everybody. We all share this piece of Sonoma County and it was just incredible to see everyone come together to reach a common goal and, and work together and support each other. And it wasn't about any individual. It was really about community. And for me, the stress of planning a burn um, and doing all that, I haven't slept for a few days. So um, it's just a huge stress relief for me. So I will be extremely excited that this is over and went successfully and safely. And uh, you know, safety is always the main priority, but I think we have to push our comfort zones. And I know I personally pushed my comfort zone 
to get this goal accomplished.